Hi friends, welcome to Sketchware Tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to make a floating action bar like this in your Android app. So start with a new project and here uh, to make a floating action bar, I am taking this linear horizontal and let me change the height to match parent and let me change the padding of it to 0 dp. Now I am taking two linear verticals. Uh, this linear vertical is used to present content to the user and let me change the width to 300 dp. That's it. And now this linear 3. Let me change the width to 50 dp and let me change the padding also. 0 dp and let me change the gravity to right of the bottom part. Uh, let me tell you what is the importance of this gravity soon and that is it and let me change the height also. Uh, let me change the height to 200 dp that is it. Here as you can see uh, this appears as a floating action bar but this has to be present over the bottom part of this. So what I'll do is let me change the marginal values of this to 300 dp. I have to increase it furthermore. Little bit. That's it. It looks good. Okay. Now I am taking four image views. Here as you can see instead of uh, placing the image view at the top part uh, when I drag and drop this image view uh, it will be placed at the bottom part as you can see now that is it here as you can see uh, you have to present uh, what you want to present to the user that is it all your content goes here I am just drag and drop uh, some features that is it. Now um, I am going to import images for this action bar. So for that go to the image manager and go to this import icon pack. Let me add this. And let me add this also. Sorry. can add whatever you want. I am just taking some uh, icons and when these icons are just clicked uh, you have to set a uh, corresponding action to that. That is it. And now let me modify the properties of these images. Uh, first of all let us go to this image view one. That is it. I think I also change the width. I think width to match parent height to 50 dp and let me change it to fit xy. That is it. Yes, it is good. Now uh, you have to do the same process for other images also. You have to change. Sorry, that is it. That's it. Uh, same match parent layout height to 50 dp. Not exactly these values. Whatever you want to present, uh, you can just do that. I am just showing a demo. That's it. That's it. As you can see, my floating action bar finishes and you can present your own content to the user here. Now let us move to the logic section. Here um, this is image view 1. When this is pressed you have to change this image view 1 to the cancel button and uh, initially all these three image views are hidden in that means they are invisible 
and only when you press this button this image view has to transform into this cancel button and all these images has to visible and again if you press this image view then uh, all these images are gone understand the logic so let's move to the logic section now uh, before that i am going to add a variable that's it it's a number and on activity create you have to set this variable to zero and when image view one is clicked that means uh, initially the variable has to z ha the variable value has to be zero so go to this if else block and go to this comparator if variable is equal to zero then you have to set the visibility of all those image views that means image view 2 image view 3 image view 4 to visible image view 2 image view 3 image view 4 to visible and just copy this and paste it here and change them to invisible or what I mean to say is gone and just increase the variable to 1 and here just decrease it that's it and when variable is clicked we have to change the image view 1 is you one to this cancel button and when it is again pressed you have to change this to again this plus button that's it and initially you have to hide the visibility of all these images that's it and when it is pressed and uh, these uh, image views are clicked you have to set a uh, corresponding action uh, to that i am just uh, leaving this uh, for example let me when this image view 2 is clicked you have to show a message to the user button 2 that's it and you can place your own logic here for uh, demo purpose i am just showing this as uh, that's it and let's run our app and let's test it here as you can see initially there will be no image views present over here and your all all your apps contain visible here as you can see all are working all checkbox it takes all are working here and when you press this press button as you can see uh, the floating action bar the image view of this uh, press button changes to cancel button and all the image views are visible and when i press them they are showing some message to the user 3 2 1 that's it and when i again press that plus button all the image views are gone that's how to implement floating action bar in sketchware uh, Thank you guys, thank you for watching my video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this, thank you.